Hello everyone. Before going into today's topic, let's see about the terminology. When a common person communicates with the term payment, they denote the walkways which is constructed over the side of a road that is actually called footpaths. The word payment which is mentioned in engineering terms is seen over the right side of the picture which is a structure that withstands traffic loads and allows the smooth movement of vehicles. Today we are going to see about the types of payment and an important material that is used for the construction of flexible payments. There are different types of payments but they are mainly classified as flexible and rigid payments. Flexible payments comprises of layers such as embankment, compacted subgrade which denotes soil, subbase and base cores which are the granular layers. Finally, the binder and the surface courses which are the bituminous layers. I'll come back to define the term bituminous layer. The loads applied over the subflexible payment are transferred through the grain to grain transfer mechanism. In case of rigid payments, the layers are similar to that of the flexible payments but instead of bituminous layers at the top surface, here a concrete slab of grade M35 or M40 is being placed. The concrete slab takes up large amount of the load and there will be only less deflection comparatively to bitumen as shown in the figure. There are actually three types of coats applied in the flexible payment. Trime coat is applied between the base cores and the binder cores. Tack coat is applied between the binder cores and the surface cores. Seal coat is applied as a waterproof layer over the surface cores. These three coats are applied as thin layers of bitumen. So following the above types of coats, let's see about bitumen. Generally, when a road is being laid, the local people will say that a tar road is being laid. Especially in Tamil Nadu. Those are not tar roads actually. They are bituminous roads which are laid with the use of bitumen. Bitumen and tar are two distinctly different materials of different origin and has different physical and chemical characteristics. Bitumen is manufactured by fractional distillation of petroleum. The molecular weight of bitumen is higher than that of tar which provides higher stiffness. Bitumen is more weather resistant and has less temperature susceptibility. Bitumen is soluble in carbon disulfide, carbon tetrachloride and trichloroethylene which is actually a test that denotes the purity of bitumen. Meanwhile, Tar is produced by uh, destructive distillation of coal or wood and soluble only in toluene which is a chemical uh, which is also called as uh, methyl benzene. You may have a question like why tar is not being used nowadays. The reason is tar being uh, highly temperature susceptible. Temperature susceptibility means its behavior changes abruptly with respect to the change in temperature. When compared to bitumen that emits uh, more CO2 content which is more health hazardous. Basically, bitumen is a viscoelastic material with thixotrophic be behavior which is dark brown to black in color. So why bitumen is considered as a viscoelastic material? At high temperature that is greater than 200 degree Fahrenheit, bitumen acts almost entirely as a viscous fluid displaying the consistency of a lubricant such as motor oil. At very low temperatures uh, that is below the freezing point, uh, bitumen behaves mostly like an elastic solid rebounding to its original shape when loaded and unloaded. At intermediate temperatures of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, which is found in most of the payment systems, bitumen has characteristics of both as an viscous fluid and as an elastic solid. This explains that bitumen is a vis viscoelastic material. Speaking of time and temperature effect in bitumen, when bitumen is heated at a higher temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, it flows rapidly at a lower duration. But it takes more time to flow at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Next to that, bitumen behaves as a thixotrophic fluid. Thixotrophy is a phenomenon by which the structure of a fluid is broken down under shear and rebuilt at rest. So bitumen gets softened at higher temperature and stiffens at lower temperatures. The bitumen is uh, elastic in nature such that after loading is being removed, it comes back to the original position. This property must be ensured by conducting various study on the material bitumen. Studies must be conducted over bitumen in the aspect of safety, purity, co cohesion, adhesion to aggregate and durability. That involves various tests which will be discussed in the following videos. 
If you haven't subscribed to Syndicate Engineers, do like, share and subscribe.